In this video, we're going to use basic Spark SQL for executing data queries in a Spark application. Now, this machine is running macOS X Yosemite, and I've already downloaded, installed, and set up Apache Maven, and have also uh, already downloaded and installed JDK 8, and used the simple build tool to build the Spark assembly. So here in the terminal, you can see that uh, from my Spark installation directory, I've started the interactive Spark shell, and we're just running locally on four cores. And you can see that we have our Spark context available here already. So we're going to start by creating a SQL context object. So the SQL context class is used as the entry point to all relational data functionality in Spark SQL. And we create the SQL context using our existing Spark context. So I'm going to say val. SQL context is equal to new org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot sql context and we're going to pass in our spark context then we're going to need to be able to convert uh, regular RDDs to schema RDDs so that we can register a given RDD as a database table. And to do this, we execute the following statement. We're going to say import SQL context dot create schema RDD. And then we're going to define our table schema using a case class. So the, uh, the names of the arguments to the case class, um, it's uh, basically going to be, uh, they're going to be read as the column names for a table. So I'm going to say case class person, we're going to have name of type string, uh, we're going to have age of type integer, and we're going to have gender of type string. Oops. And we're going to have location of type string. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the test file that we're using as a data source. So inside my uh, Spark directory, my Spark installation directory, I have this file called people.txt. Let's open that. So here in the file, you can see that we have values for each record on a separate line for each of these four people. We have each person's name, their age, their gender, and their location. So let's head on back to the terminal, and uh, we're going to create an RDD of person objects. So we're going to say val persons is equal to sc dot text file. And the people.txt is the name of our file. And we're going to use a map on that. And we're going to split the uh, values for the records based on the delimiter, which is a vertical bar. Oops. All right. And then we're going to use a map on that. And we're going to get each person's values. So P to person, and we're going to orderly access the um, the column data. So P zero, that's name, it's the name column. P one, that's going to be the age column, and we're going to do a trim on that to integer. And uh, P two is our gender column, and uh, P three is a location column. Right, so I think I have enough brackets there. Let's find out. Okay, good. So we have our RDD. Now our RDD above can be implicitly converted to a schema RDD, which can then be operated on uh, just the same as a regular RDD, in addition to supporting the use of SQL queries after being registered as a temporary table. So I'm going to say persons dot register temp table. And uh, the name of that was persons, call it persons. And uh, with this, uh, we can now run queries on the table. So if you want to find out the Americans in our list, so as the people whose locations are USA or US rather, we'll say val Americans 
is equal to SQL context. Context.sql. And we have our statement. We're going to select name from persons. It's the name of our table. Where location is equal to US. We'll close our statement. And we'll hit enter. All right, so with that done, um, we're then just, uh, we can print out the uh, actual list of Americans by name, by just saying Americans dot map, and each person P, uh, so that we get their name. And uh, we're going to orderly access the name columns, so that's P0. Use a collect action on that. And then use a for each to print each name. We hit enter. And there you can see we have our Americans, Neil Parks, and Chantel Sands. And uh, that's it. We've just used basic Spark SQL for executing data queries in a Spark application running on Mac OS X Yosemite. Thank you.